So breaking news, the Met Police has confirmed a report of an alleged sexual assault from 2003. Um, they received the Russell Brand sex assault allegation from uh, 20 years ago. And um, this just came in. This just look at the BBC News. This is about um, this is a three fifty one. Um, we've just received an update from London's Metropolitan Police. A spokesperson for the Met said we are aware we are we are aware of reporting by the Sunday Times and Channel 4's dispatches about allegations of sexual offences. On the seventeenth of September, Met received a report of a sexual assault which was alleged to have taken place in Soho in central London in two thousand three. Officers are in contact with the woman and will be by will be providing her with support. We first spoke with the Sunday Times, September 16th, and, and since I've made further approaches to the Sunday Times and Channel 4 to ensure that anyone who believes they've been a victim of, sex, of, of a sexual offence is aware of how to report this to the police. Um, yeah, and I, mean, I suppose that's one thing. It's very important that this, should, that, that, that this goes to the police um, and that the police take action. Um Trial by media, I wouldn't really say that's the right way of going about it. But this this just doesn't look good at all, though, for Russell Brands. This is a, a, an allegation from now back from about 20 years ago. And um, the allegations, the other ones, was from 2006 to 2013. So overall, it just doesn't look good. And I was watching, um, it was just a Channel 4 Live. They were just talking about it. This has obviously been the big news headline. Um, and you know they're speculating. You know, would would YouTube drop Russell Brand? Would Rumble drop him? Um, I don't know if they could be able to drop him just based on these allegations. I don't think that would be a good enough reason for them to drop him. It would have to be something where he's, you know, when it comes to the the the, the stack, the guidelines that they have. And I know you debate they're a bit flimsy, but YouTube will probably just boot off who they don't like. But I don't know if it would still be a good enough reason for them with the allegations for them to kick kick deep deplatform him. Um you I mean YouTube might, but I highly doubt Rumble would though. He seems to have a pretty good relationship with Rumble. I think in the end they'd they'll protect him and they'll have his back. Um but this story, you know, it's not going away. It won't be going away for uh, for probably uh, I would guess a good couple of weeks now. Um and you know, it wouldn't surprise me if we hear a good few more allegations, some more type of allegations about this. Um I do remember something, it was a while back, it wasn't really a big thing though, it was something about a, a sexual assault allegation, something that happened in Russell Brand's, Russell Brand's flat, but I don't believe it was something where, um, well he wasn't, obviously he wasn't charged, but then at the same time I think it was at his flat, I didn't, it wasn't, he wasn't the one, I believe, assaulting a woman, but um, from what I can, can, can recall from this allegation, but um, it just doesn't seem to be going away. It's all this stuff now, Russell Brand. There's stuff there, you know, because it was Catherine Ryan. She believed that she had, the, 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 you know, from what she had heard, that Russell Brand was a was a predator, and she had, apparently had told him this uh, straight to his face. Um, and it, you just see it all now. It's all about Russell Brand. Um, and there was a big on on air row um, that they had on GBUs about it, and. Um, I mean, yes, it's innocent to proven guilty, but then I still am a big believer where there's smoke, there's fire. And overall, I just don't think it looks good for Russell Brand when you see all that stuff that he was joking about in his stand-ups from before about women, you know, their their mascara running down their face, all right, from blowjobs. Just, I mean, if he's not a sexual assault or you know a, a rapist, and he hasn't abused these women, he's just a very well from back then anyway, just a very sleazy, um, you know, um. De degenerate um, piece of filth, really. But um, hopefully that's just the worst that, that it is, but it just doesn't look good with all the stuff that's been coming out, and I'm sure there's going to be more to come soon with other allegations also. Um, but those are just my thoughts on all that. Um, so yeah, it seems to be now another allegation. This is from back in 2003, and I won't be surprised if there's a, if there's a good few more. Um, so thanks, guys.